Era al de. Traigo. Top 10 ghosts caught on camera. Lurking in the woods. Justin Fender's TikTok account is dedicated to cars, bikes, do-it-yourself projects, and his family. Absolutely nothing paranormal or supernatural. However, three months ago, Justin bought himself a 2002 Nissan Xterra and filmed himself as he installed brand new reverse lights. Today, I'm putting some rear LED lights on my Nissan Xterra. These are the flush mount LEDs I bought off of eBay. They're pretty cheap. The lights are installed. I'm gonna take them back out and paint the bumper. So one of Justin's viewers asks how well the reverse lights work at night. And Justin drives out into the dark woods near a lake in North Carolina to show just how bright the lights are. His TikTok viewers are shocked when the reverse lights illuminate something downright chilling. The lights are definitely functional, but unfortunately I live in a city and there are street lights everywhere, but I can find a place to go test them. Okay, I found some really dark woods. I just put some tin foil over the reverse lights. So I'm gonna show you what the stock reverse lights look like and then I'm gonna uncover them and show you what the added reverse lights look like. These are the stock reverse lights. Literally can't see anything. And these are the ones I just installed. Look how friggin' bright that is. This is amazing. Yeah, so these are not just for looks. Did you see it? No. As Justin turns on the lights, an arm wrapped around a tree can be seen sliding its way slowly out of sight. After many comments from freaked out viewers, Justin finally sees the arm and decides to go back to investigate during the day. Okay, I'm leaving work. Two blocks that way is where the arm was. Okay, this road goes Check down to the lake, which is right there in a public boat landing. This is where my truck was backed in. in well, it's actually a path, and that is the tree with the stick leaned up against it. As you can see, people illegally dump stuff out here all the time, mostly trash, but a lot of animal carcasses too. And this is the tree. Here we are behind the tree to where my exterior was back in. I'm about 5'10". I'm not a very superstitious person, so you're not gonna get much out of me. I just think, you know, if anything, you know, somebody back here. Now, even after all of that, Justin still believes the arm simply could have belonged to someone that happened to be out in the dark woods. But what do you think? Could it be a creature, a ghost, not or perhaps so. even creepier? Is it just someone hiding in the dark woods? Let me know down in the comments. Cries from beyond. This next video was sent in by Nuke's top five viewer, Peter Canova. Peter explains in his email that his friend was remodeling a house in Des Moines, Iowa that had been abandoned for over 10 years. Peter's friend shared a chilling video that was recorded by a tile installer named Javier. se escucha más estoy aquí en la casa de remodelación Esto acabo de rellenar hicimos ese shower y esto y desde hace rato vengo escuchando un, un llanto como de niño Oigan. pero el pedo es de que aquí en la casa esta Hola. Oh, si c'è benvenuto nelle cagne di cane. La 
verga. No hay nada. Pero como, la acción de cuatro tres meses, vamos a ver que Güey, no mames. No mames. The loud cries of a child can be heard coming from the basement. Javier checks every room but finds no one. Suddenly, there's an unexplained loud bang from somewhere, and Javier makes a run for it. Javier refuses to ever return to the house again. Wait, no mames. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Oh dear. Terence Liano from Windsor, Ontario, Canada often goes out into the woods to record himself overtone singing for TikTok and YouTube. One day he decides to stream live, and as he starts to sing, he seems to capture the attention of a passing deer. Pretty sure he was looking for where the sound was coming from, but I stopped and started talking and now he's confused. Alright. Oh. C'era un'ombra nera dietro. E prima era passata l'ombra nera. And there's the deer, but did you see it? Terence seems to have caught the attention of something else lurking in the woods. Several strange slim figures seem to be hiding in the trees behind the deer. Terence's TikTok viewers believe the mysterious creatures could be cryptids, Sasquatch, or even skinwalkers. But what do you think Terence's singing could have summoned from the deep? No, no, guarda questo, guarda questo. Guarda qua. Deer. Guarda quella lombra Pretty sure he was looking for where the sound was coming from, but I stopped muove, and started talking and now he's confused. Avete visto? Qui. Avete visto? But I stopped so and started questo, talking and now he's confused. Che cazzo è? All right. And there's the of something else lurking in the woods. Several strange, slim figures seem to be hiding in the trees behind the deer. Terence's TikTok viewers believe the mysterious creatures could be cryptids, Sasquatch, or even skinwalkers. But what do you think Terence's singing could have summoned from the deep Canadian woods? A doorway. This next bizarre clip comes from a small YouTube channel that is not even necessarily dedicated to ghost hunting or the supernatural. Partners Rain and Jeno post random videos to their personal channel, Sinister RP. These videos range from art and music to their own personal passion, which is exploring haunted places. Now Rain and Jeno do not claim that they are quote, professional ghost hunters. In fact, they are a bit skeptical themselves and they even invite their viewers to debunk any paranormal evidence that they find. When we go out, we don't always find the craziest stuff. I mean, let us know. I mean, let us know what you think, you know what I mean? Uh, by all means, if we can debunk this, I would love to be able to, and if we can't, I mean, I'd love that even more. But there is one video in particular that even the couple and their YouTube viewers cannot explain. First, the couple captures some odd sounds in this abandoned farmhouse. This time, we ended up uh, capturing something else, something really weird. What the hell was that? What? If you heard a squeak, I was... I... No, I heard a bang. Hello? Hello? Not much else happens, but then, by accident, the couple captures this. Did you see it? Some dark humanoid shape seems to appear near the door and then quickly moves away and disappears into nothing. Rain and Geno try to debunk the figure and even invite their audience to do the same. Now, 
of course, uh, the first thing that's running through my head is, mm, that might be one of her shadows, but... And that's what's still been going through my head, but I don't know, you know, everybody else now that is saying, that's not, that's not your shadow, that has its own movement to it, and... And if you watch, I move and it stays still, and then it moves and disappears. But there is just no rational explanation. So, what do you think? Check out this full video over on the YouTube channel, Sinister RP. Urban Exploration Gone Wrong Urban explorer Andy Persons heads out to Albany, New York to see the old Tobin's First Prize Center, which is a meatpacking facility that was built in 1924 and was later left completely abandoned. Together with his two friends, he makes his way through the massive old crumbling factory, and he discovers something truly unnerving, because they might not be the only ones there. This is the fun part. Oh my god, Andy. So this is where things kind of got a little weird. We were coming down these staircases, and I shined my flashlight to the left, and out of the corner of my eye, all I could see was someone in a black trench coat quickly rush over through the door and hide in the corner. I shine my flashlight down the elevator shaft that was right next to me. And all of a sudden, we all started hearing a bunch of voices and just people that were inside of the walls. We just decided to get out there pretty quickly and, and let them be. A man who seems to be wearing a dark trench coat quickly disappears out of sight. Then the group hears voices coming from the walls all around them. Spooked by the creepy event, they decide to just get out of there. Now, whether what they caught is paranormal, I'm not sure. But as I've said before, sometimes real people are much more frightening. Anyway, you can watch the entire exploration of this creepy abandoned factory over on the YouTube channel, Andy Persons, through the looking glass. Late one night, TikTok user Apple DeCastro decides to weigh herself on a scale in her family home in the Philippines. She stands in front of a mirror, and what happens next is truly bizarre. <laughs> Oh? 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 Apple's reflection in the mirror seems to move out of time with her body. Now, of course, this could just be a weird CCTV compression glitch, but her brother Joshua actually sees it happen with his own eyes. Another camera angle records his reaction. Joshua can't believe what he's seeing and he quickly Joshua goes to warn his sister. Eh? Together they eh? check the footage recorded by their CCTV cameras and post their creepy experience to TikTok. So could this be a glitch in the <laughs> matrix? A haunted mirror? 
are just a really, so really tante, tante, strange tante, camera tante, glitch. Tante, tante, tante. As always, I leave it to you to decide. No entry. Ecco. As with most Japanese videos, I have no idea what the source is for this next creepy clip. The clip shows two guys approaching an old school building that is under renovation and is allegedly haunted. Even though there's tape at the entrance saying no entry, the two friends step inside anyway. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. Andare in Africa, in quei paesi dove praticano tipo voodoo o queste cose qua, perché ci sono molti video e anche testimonianze di cose che non si riescono a spiegare. Mi piacerebbe proprio vederle con i miei occhi. Fine. Ci credo sia una credenza però. Sì. Ma lo vedo bro. Oh. Eh, frosta. Vedi troppo. Ma tu vedi che so? Ma dimmi che so. Allora, tu lo hai detto. Non è tu. Non è tu. Ah, e qua e qua. Non è tu. 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 え、初じゃね、あいつたの。もう入ってきたら入るでしょ。もう入ってくださいって言ってんだから。ここに2回あるで、2回あるから。コードカード。コードカード。お。2回あるで、2回あるから。コードカード。コードカード。お。2回ある
Most of all, the spirit of the young boy is often seen by children. Kay and L lead a static camera to record in the restaurant as they investigate the basement of the hotel. Later, when they check their footage, they are shocked by what they've caught. A small head about the height of a young child can be seen peeking through the glass windows of one of the restaurant doors. Paranormal investigators K and L believe that they might have captured the spirit of the young boy that guests claim to have seen over the years. But what do you think this small figure could be? Let me know. You can watch this entire investigation and many more over on the YouTube channel K and L Ghost Hunters. Dead in the water. In another strange video shared to the internet without a source, someone can be seen taking off their shoes after having walked through a waterfall in Malaysia and discovering small clumps of leeches stuck to their feet. And if that isn't horrifying enough, there's something else in this video that's very disturbing. Mazza che due posti. Non ho visto se è successo qualcosa. Did you see it? No. Someone or something can be seen sitting on a rock inside the waterfall. Vabbè. Whoever or whatever it is appears to be wearing a white dress and has long dark hair and dark arms. Now, without a source, it's impossible to establish whether this footage is real, fake, or even explainable. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching my upload schedule. It's kind of weird these days. Alle 4 e mezza pomeriggio. Ragazzi, c'è ancora Belluzzi in chat? Così ci linka il progetto di Fanatic? Oh, io al primo vista pure io ho pensato fosse tipo un sasso in realtà. Anche a me è sembrato una roccia. A prima vista. Vediamo se c'è uno Belluzzi ci linka. Gli NFT dei fanatic e poi per oggi ragazzi stacchiamo qua, facciamo una live corta corta Domenica, riporto male in stazione Stream di pomeriggio, punto di